Hi, and welcome to Bakes and Blunders. Today, we're gonna to be making a super simple and easy batch of lemon biscotti. These crisp cookies are perfect when paired with your favorite hot beverage. We'll start by sifting together all of our dry ingredients. We're not going to be discarding any larger chunks of almond flour like we would if we were making macarons. Instead, we're just trying to break up that almond flour, get everything lightened up and combined. So once you've sifted most of your ingredients in, if there's no more lumps left, you can just toss it right into the bowl, then whisk to combined and set aside. You'll find the recipes used in this video in the description box below. Add your sugar, eggs, lemon zest, and lemon extract to a bowl. Use an electric hand mixer to whip the ingredients until they are at least doubled in size, very light and fluffy. This will take about three minutes on a medium to medium high speed. Once your egg mixture is ready, you can go ahead and scrape your bowl down, then add your melted but slightly cooled butter to the mixture and stir gently to combine. Then you can add your dry ingredients and fold gently until everything is almost just incorporated. You can find links to the products that I've used in the description box below this video. Now you can add your chopped lemon candy melts and fold until just combined. If you're not going to use the lemon candy melts, make sure to check out the link to the blog post and recipe in the description box below this video for some alternatives. Go ahead and cover your biscotti dough and we're going to put it in the fridge to chill for about one to three hours. Before you go ahead and take your cold lemon biscotti dough out of the fridge, you're going to want to make sure that your oven is preheated. That way it is ready to go as soon as your biscotti loaf is shaped. Use two bowl scrapers to remove the dough from the bowl and shape it into a log that is about 10 to 12 inches long. Now keep in mind that this is going to spread quite a bit, so you do not want to make it the size of your pan, you will run into problems. Because the dough is so sticky, I usually like to put on some food prep gloves. That way I can just get in there and I don't have to worry about the mess and I can use my hands to also shape the log. Once you're done shaping your lemon biscotti dough, you can put it in the oven for the first bake. It's essential that you make sure that the biscotti is cooked all the way through so when you gently tap or touch the top of your loaf, it should not leave a dent. It should spring back or even feel slightly firm. Cool the lemon biscotti loaf on your pan for about 15 minutes or until it is cool enough for you to gently handle and then you can transfer it to a cooling rack and you want to let it cool completely before we slice it up. Use a large sharp knife to carefully and gently slice your biscotti loaf into individual biscotti. Depending on how large your loaf got and how large you slice your biscotti, I usually get about 14 to 16 cookies out of each loaf and that includes the rounded edges. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. To prevent your biscotti from burning, you're going to want to place your baking sheet inside of another baking sheet of the same size. This will help insulate the bottom and then using a silicone baking mat is also key to making sure your biscotti don't burn. Place your sliced biscotti onto your prepared baking sheet and once you get them all on the pan, kind of spread them around so that there is space for some airflow and that they're not all right up on each other. We're gonna bake the biscotti at a slightly lower temperature for 40 minutes, but halfway through, you'll wanna rotate your pan 180 degrees so that they bake nice and evenly. Once the lemon biscotti are done baking, let them cool on the baking sheet for 5 to 10 minutes, then transfer them to a cooling rack. As soon as they are cool, they are ready to eat. 
These lemon biscotti are so crisp, nice, light, and sweet, and there's just that subtle flavor of lemon with bursts of the lemon candy melts running throughout the cookies. Once they've cooled down, you can store them layered between wax paper in an airtight container on the counter for one to two weeks. Thank you so much for watching this recipe video for my crisp and delicious lemon biscotti. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some of my others, so check out your screen right now, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy baking!